The chamfer tool creates rounded or angled corners on polygon edges to add realistic detail. Earlier in the course, we saw a similar function with the bevel modifier and the text plus primitive. The chamfer tool is available as a modifier and as a tool within Editable Poly. If we select the object, we will see chamfer. If we go into Edge Subobject Mode, we got chamfer over here in the Edges panel. In a case such as this column, we will probably wish to opt for the Editable Poly tool because it's built right into the object and it's a bit easier to apply to particular subobject selections. We just need to keep in mind that the changes we make within Editable Poly are all destructive, not parametric. If we used the chamfer modifier, we'd be able to make subsequent changes to parameters, such as the chamfer amount. Using Editable Poly, we'd need to keep a backup version if we ever wanted to revert any changes. Let's check the polygon count for this scene. Press the 7 key to enable statistics in the view. We only have one object in the scene, and this displays the total number of polygons for the scene. We've got 46 polygons on the object currently. Let's select the edges we want in Edge Subobject Mode. Let's go over to the Selection tab, and we can select only the hard edges and none of the smooth edges. There's a button over here on the left in the Select panel, Hard. Click that button, and only the hard edges are selected. And if we press the F3 key to go into wireframe, we can tumble around with Alt and Middle Mouse. We see that none of the interior edges here have been selected. Those are all smooth or soft edges, and they were not selected. All right, that's really cool. So we'll go back to a shaded view with F3, and then back over to the modeling tab, and we want to chamfer the selected edges. Just as with the Extrude tool, if we want to adjust the chamfer parameters, we'll need to go into the Options, launch the Caddy by holding down the Shift key, and then click on the Chamfer icon. And we have a lot of options for the Chamfer tool. Let's get in really close with Control alt and Middle Mouse. The first thing we'll want to adjust is the Chamfer Amount. So here it is, the Amount. Let's set that to a value of 0.25 centimeters and press Enter. And now we can see the effect of the chamfer a little bit more clearly because we're not seeing any overlapping polygons. We can make it even easier to see what we're doing by disabling edged faces. That's the F4 keyboard shortcut. So we've got a default of one segment. If we had zero segments, we'd get flat chamfers. With greater than zero segments, we'll get a rounded fillet at that corner. Let's increase the number of segments up to a value of two. And as we change that, we see the shading change on the model. And that's not really a problem. It's just the way that smoothing is designed in Max. If we have no segments, we're going to get hard edges everywhere. As we increase the number of segments, we're going to see various smoothing effects. To control this, we can go down here into the smoothing section. Smoothing is currently enabled, and it's got an angle threshold of 30 degrees. We can bring that down to zero and press enter, and we've effectively disabled smoothing everywhere. If we get in really close on one of these corners, we can see the individual faces. So we don't really want this. We fixed the smoothing artifacts that we had, but we've kind of thrown the baby out with the bathwater here. We've got an unexpected or undesirable outcome, which is now none of the faces are smoothed. But there is a fix for that. Over here we have the smooth type. We want to choose smooth chamfers only. These flat faces will not be smoothed, but the chamfered area that's been created by the tool will be smoothed. We just need to increase our threshold once again. Set that back to 30 degrees. And now we have the result we wanted. Got a nice rounded chamfer. We don't have any of that undesirable smoothing artifact in the flat areas of the model. With these settings, we can go ahead and click OK, and that chamfer has been applied. Now in our statistics, we see we have 910 polygons. We have a 20 times increase in level of detail by adding all of these chamfers. I'll exit out of Edge Subobject Mode. 
deselect the object and maybe orbit around and check our work and make sure everything passes muster. A 20 times increase in level of detail is significant. This scene is going to be able to handle that just fine, but if it were a very heavy scene with many objects, you might want to consider a rendering solution instead of a modeling solution. We could, for example, apply an Arnold bump map called Round Corners to simulate this chamfer, even if the geometry itself didn't have that detail. That's how to use the chamfer tool in Editable Poly. If you want to learn how to use the chamfer tool as a modifier, I covered that in my weekly series, 3ds Max Tips, Tricks, and Techniques.